Here we have the Orkey PC-LM13 webcam. The specs are on the screen now, so feel free to pause the video to check them out, but let's get straight into the footage. Starting with the small ring light in front of us, and it's actually not bad at all. We did notice that the colours do look a little dull, and I have no idea what that is on my shirt. But let's pretend that there's nothing there. As this has a wide field of view, I was expecting to see some bending on the sides of the image, but it looks pretty good. Movement is also looking good too. Getting rid of the ring light and using natural light coming in through the window. And again, it's not the worst that we've seen. Movement is still looking decent, but there is a little loss in quality, which is to be expected when we're lacking that extra light. When we have no light in the room at all, then the image is really poor. We can be seen, but there is a lot of pixelation and ghosting. The the movement is still looking decent, but you will definitely need some light on yourself. This is a microphone test using the Orkey webcam. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the inbuilt microphone. Focusing on a small object, and we're in focus until about 8 inches away, then we lose the focus. The colours are still looking a little dull too. This will be the same case if you're trying to focus on text too. You will need to be around 8 inches or more away for it to stay in focus, and if you do come closer, then expect a lot of fuzziness to the text. When we are sitting in front of our larger ring lights, it still produces a good picture, especially considering how cheap the webcam is, but the overall picture is still quite dull. What we did notice is that if we turn on a coloured light behind ourselves then the colours improve a lot and it looks as though we actually have some life in our body. Using the can of coke as an example you can see the colour difference between when the light is switched on and when the light is switched off behind ourselves. The exposure can be manually configured and this will help remove a lot of the white glow from ring lights that are directly in front of yourself. You can also manually configure the white balance to fine tune the image which will be useful if you're not getting the desired results using the automatic white balance. We removed our our green screen in OBS and got a decent result. Even with our chair pushed right back against the green screen, so it should do a decent job for you streamers out there. For how cheap you can pick this up now, it's actually really good value, especially if you're coming from using an inbuilt webcam at the moment. But if you want to see another budget webcam with good performance, then check out the video that is on screen now.